Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So this is episode two of the Star Wars fan composite I've been doing. Uh, check out last week's episode if you didn't get a chance. In last week, we took a whole bunch of photos from the web and we extracted everything. We put everything together. It looks really weird for now because there's no color correction. But this is what's going to happen right now. Now we need to color correct everything that has been put here. Now, as I said, make sure you follow episode number one because you will get all the downloads. You get, I even give you this PSD, you get everything so you can just follow along. And if you missed episode one, check it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color correct from the back on. So I'm going to start with the mountain, which is the furthest away. And to color correct something, when you just have one layer, the best practice is to put it into a folder because we're going to do different kind of corrective layer on that layer. And for cleanliness reason, you want to have that in a folder. So to create a folder, you just press Command or Control J. Okay, and I'm going to call this the same name, which is the mountain. Okay, now in that folder, the first thing I'm going to do is this mountain is way too red, right? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to add a U and saturation. And I'm going to desaturate the mountain. But check this out. If I do it for now, not only is it going to desaturate the mountain, but it's also going to desaturate the sky. I don't want that. Okay, no, no, no. So I'm going to click here and boom. This is going to put a little arrow between the U and saturation adjustment and the mountain. And you see, that means that the U and saturation is only going to be applied on the mountain. Okay, that's perfect. And because it's further away, I also want to make it brighter. Okay, not that brighter, but brighter because more things are further away, more, you know, they become like this. Okay, now maybe I want to change the color a little bit, not have desaturated. So I can go here and go to color balance. Make sure I click on the same little arrow so that it only influences this. And I think I want to add a bit of yellow and a bit of magenta in the mid-tones. Mid-tones is basically going to influence a lot of the photo. So uh, mid-tones is exactly what this mountain is made of. That's kind of cool. And to make it even further away, I'm going to lower the opacity of the mountain quite a bit. So that it's like really like far, far away in the galaxy, far, far away. Okay, and now I'm going to try to add some haze. Do. Oh, do not. There is no try. Yes, master. Okay, so now to add some haze, I'm going to create an empty layer. Take a brush, but haze is very smooth and very hazy and very furry. You know what I mean? <coughs> so that's haze. And I want to, so I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to make sure the brush has a hardness of zero because we want very smooth. And I'm going to lower the opacity of the brush. Not to 100%, but like 10%, okay? And voila. So I create the plus created this layer. I'm gonna call this haze, all right? And so I'm gonna make my brush much bigger. And now I got a brush that's very, almost not visible. And I'm gonna brush here, command Z to undo. I need to take a very light color. So I'm gonna hold on the option key and I'm gonna go here, click here, and I'm just gonna put some haze here. Okay, I'm going to put some haze here like this. Okay, so that the mountain is really far away. And if you think it's too much haze, you can lower the opacity of the haze. That's without the haze, a little bit of the haze. Yeah, you can just play around with this opacity slider. Uh, I want it to really be like, just, you can hardly see it. Okay, next up we have the Star Destroyer. Same thing, Command J to put it in its own group. I'm going to call this Star Destroyer. And so as a Star Destroyer, I'm going to go here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a... Um, so on this one, this one has got too much contrast. So one thing you can do, but I'm going to do is you in saturation. So make sure you click this so you're only influencing the Star Destroyer. Okay. And then I'm just going to light up this here. So that's going to take out a lot of contrast. And then I'm going to do a another color balance here. And I'm going to make sure, click here so that it only influences the Star Destroyer. And again, a bit, of, a bit of yellow and a bit of magenta. Uh, same thing, I think the Star Destroyer, I want to lower the opacity, but don't do it too much. Because if you do it too much, we're going to start seeing the mountain through it. And that's going to not going to be natural. So try to go like 80% or something. You're better off putting it like at 100% and clicking here to create an empty layer. Call it Haze and add some A. So B for brush, B for brush, 13%. A very light color and let's add some A's. So 
Haze is very important in this because it's what gives depth to your photo. Haze is very important because this is what's gonna give depth to the photo. I'm still gonna minus the opacity maybe like at 90%. Okay, and I think I wanna add a lighter haze. I think my haze, so if you wanna make a color lighter, you can just go here. I'm just gonna make it lighter, like go here. Because I think I'm not light enough, yeah. And again, if you think it's too much, you can lower the opacity of the haze, something like that. Okay, cool. So now, uh, let's do uh, the foreground. So same thing, command J, command G, sorry, command G, G the group, and let's do foreground, all right? And on this one, I actually like the colors on this one. I think I'm just gonna still do a little U in saturation, just maybe desaturate it a little bit. And then I like to desaturate and recolorize. It's just a good way to make sure that everything kind of fits. Okay, and make sure it's on here. Okay, perfect, so I'm happy with that. Now let's take care of Ray. So command J, command G, J, 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 like group. Command G, sorry, I'm French. Okay, and on her, on her what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a level adjustment. Don't be afraid of the level of adjustment. I'm not afraid. Yeah. You will be. You will be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you see she's very contrasty. If you go here, you're basically, oh, I need to click here so they don't influence this ray. You see what it does? It makes her brighter. It makes all the darkness, adds a bit of gray just in the darkness. It takes out some of the contrast which I kind of like. And then on her, I'm also gonna do that. I'm gonna go do um, a little U and saturation. I think I wanna desaturate her a little bit. Again, make sure you press here so you're just on her. And then I'm gonna go to color balance and I'm going to click here and just add a bit of yellow and a bit of magenta, something like this. And also I wanna add some haze on her. So I'm gonna click here, go to haze, and I got my haze brush already. And I'm just adding a bit of haze here. Okay, all right, um, Stormtroopers, I think that's the next one. So let's take both Stormtroopers. Oops, I forgot to name this one, Ray. So now Stormtroopers, so this two, Command G, and Stormtroopers. The first thing I wanna do in this one is select the two layers, right click, and merge layer. Because this way I only have to create one layer, and that is so much more fun. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna go here and I'm going to add a little bit of um, levels also. Okay, here, same thing, I'm gonna add some white in the blacks. Okay, perfect. Uh, I also wanna lower the, uh, the opacity because they're again sand. It's gonna make them go further away, which is kinda cool. And maybe also add a color balance you know, a bit of uh, yellow and a bit of magenta. And uh, voila. So it's always the same thing. It's levels or you in saturation and color balance. That's basically it. That's what the tools I use. You can do it with curve. You can do it with everything. You can do it also with the force. But that's how I do it. Okay, so now everything kind of matches a bit better. I still think Ray has a little uh, too much uh, contrast. So I can go back to Ray. And because it's non-destructive, I can click here on the levels and I can go further here and make her even a bit brighter. I can play with the levels here and just make it make her a little bit brighter. Something like that. And anyway, we'll do some final touches and we'll add some shadows. But that's pretty much what I want to teach you in this episode. We extracted everything. We color corrected everything and in episode three, we're gonna add the shadows, we're gonna do the final touches and we're gonna get this as a final result. By the way guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and share this video and the force will be with you. All right, so I'll see you in episode three. Not this one, episode three next week.